Hello, I'm Adam Barillet, and welcome to this video we're exploring honeysuckle essential oil. Honeysuckle is a variety of shrubs and vines that are found in the northern latitudes of North America, Europe, and Asia. Of all the flowers in the world, there are very few that can compete with the enticing and euphoric aroma of honeysuckle essential oil. And I've been blessed to get some true honeysuckle oil to better work with. Now, in this video, we're gonna dive in and explore the chemistry and the magic of honeysuckle and work out how it will benefit you in your body, in your mind, in your heart, and in your soul, and dive into different ways that you can use honeysuckle essential oil to bless all these aspects of your life. So let's explore honeysuckle. When we're working with a newer essential oil, there isn't as much literature and not so many people have worked with it so they can share the benefits of what they've found working with honeysuckle. So in this case, what we do is we look at the chemistry and we compare that to other essential oils that have a similar chemistry. So one of the key constituents in honeysuckle is phenyl ethyl alcohol. Now phenyl ethyl alcohol, sometimes called PEA, gives honeysuckle that beautiful rose odor. So this is also really, really antimicrobial, antiseptic, and antibacterial. So this is gonna make this an amazing oil for the skin. First of all, we know that floral oils are really good for the skin anyway. The top layer is the epidermis. And so after you've uh, cleansed your face at night, you could pop some honeysuckle on or mix it with your moisturizer and pop that on and that's gonna bless that. Now, if you've got any issues that, you know, any bacterial infections or like acne or anything like that, or any kind of minor skin irritations, I reckon that honeysuckle is gonna be quite helpful in that because of these different aspects in it as well. Because of its beautiful, alluring aroma as well, it's gonna be a nice natural perfume. Now, this is not just for a simple smell. By using this rather than a general perfume or cologne, this is gonna do your body a whole heap of good. Floral oils tend to help the hormonal system in a couple of ways. First of all, they support optimum functioning of the hormonal system. Secondly, you're not putting hormone disruptors on you. In perfumes, if you've got a perfume or a cologne at home, I have a challenge for you. I want you to try and find the total ingredients of it. They may say that it's got hints of lily in the valley and rose and something else, but they won't list it. Not on the bottle, not on the box, not on a website, nowhere. Because when you classify something as a perfume or a fragrance, that's an umbrella term and you can put whatever you want in there. Quite often what you'll find in there are different man-made substances and even parts of animals, including whale vomit, horse urine, and beaver butt extract. Mm. And what has been found is that these will disrupt the normal function of our hormones. Now hormones aren't just about making babies and menstrual cycles, they regulate our sleep and our temperature and a whole range of different things. So you wanna make sure that you're not using these. And if you think, oh, I've got an expensive one, it's been found that cheap and expensive are just as bad as each other. Another key constituent that we find in honeysuckle in quite high portions is linalool. Now linalool is what we find in oils such as lavender and bergamot and magnolia that make them all calming. So honeysuckle can not only be worn during the day to help your hormones and to be an alluring aroma, but it can also be used at night. By popping it on your face, inhaling that aroma is gonna help your body to start to relax and calm down. But you could also pop it in a diffuser or apply it to the soles of the feet. Any of these three ways will help you to get that relaxing aroma and that linalool in and on the body so that your body gets the message that it's time to start winding down and facilitate getting a really great night's sleep. So, honeysuckle, great for the face, great as a natural fragrance, and great for getting a good night's sleep. When we look at honeysuckle and how it's gonna impact the head and the heart, because of that linalool, oil, this is gonna be a relaxing oil. It's gonna be great throughout the day if you are stressed, or if you just need to kind of relax into a situation a little bit more, and be a bit more joyous and happy and open to whatever happens. And this kind of gives us the key on when we go into the emotional healing aspect of honeysuckle. Honeysuckle has been renowned for bringing in the, the riches and the abundance of life. And when we don't like the smell of honeysuckle, maybe we find it a bit too much, this would suggest to me that maybe you're shutting off from the abundance of the world. A lot of the time we wish we could win lotto, that we could have this mansion or, you know, have more friends or have these great opportunities, but we're scared to embrace it. We're scared to do what it takes to earn that money, to go and talk to those new people, to make new friends, or to meet a new partner, all those type of things, or we just don't feel worthy of ourselves. 
Honeysuckle will help you to relax into being open to embracing all the riches that are coming your way. There are so many opportunities out there, but sometimes fear stands in our way. Is fear standing in your way? If so, then Honeysuckle might be a great oil for you. Because honeysuckle grows in such a vast area, there are so many different traditions which have used this essential oil or this flower magically in the past. Now, one of the ones that it's really great for is love, especially in attracting love, but also in keeping that love nice and strong. Wearing honeysuckle helps to keep love alive and keeps the, that passion reburning and the relationship reinventing itself. Sometimes the vines have been used to bind lovers together in something like a hand fasting or a marriage. So if you want to make a commitment with you and your partner, bringing in honeysuckle to some kind of commitment ceremony would be really powerful and help to support the sanctity of that relationship and keep it strong. Now, not only does it protect relationships, but it can also protect the home. Having honeysuckle diffusing in the home protects those within and all the possessions or dabbing a little bit of honeysuckle around the perimeter of the home can help to protect it as well. Now, you may wanna pop a little bit of honeysuckle on the third eye chakra because some people have found that it opens us up not only to the gifts of the mundane world, but also to the gifts of the spiritual world. So if you're wanting to enhance your psychic abilities, it can be great here as well. If you're interested in working with the Fae or the fairies, it is said that they quite like the aroma of honeysuckle. So if you've got a little fairy circle or if you're doing meditations with fairies or anything to do with the fairy realm, pop some honeysuckle on you or an amulet or an offering and I'm sure they'll come to see you. Finally, honeysuckle is a money attracting essential oil as well. Popping it around a bowl of coins or anointing a green candle and burning that at sacred times, such as like when the full moon is in Taurus, would be a really great time to work with honeysuckle. So, are you open to having all the goodness come into your life? Whether it be love, whether it be abundance, whether it be the fairies, or you just want to ward off that danger? If so, honeysuckle can help with all of these things. There's a real sensation with honeysuckle of opening up, of being open to whatever the world will bring to you. It works really well with the solar plexus chakra. Now remember our solar plexus chakra is about opening our inner light and shining our light into the world. It's our social chakra, our personal power. It's about how we interact with others and how empowered we feel when we're with other people. Honeysuckle is really going to help you to open up to new opportunities, to be free, to chat with other people, to collaborate with other people, to meet new people and find out the richness of life as you meet a rainbow and a large variety of diverse people throughout your lifetime. The other cool thing about Honeysuckle is it has a reputation for helping to encourage people to be generous to us. So maybe you're a little bit nervous that people might take advantage of you or that you feel that you're always getting ripped off or you're always giving more than you uh, receive, then it's time to start working with honeysuckle. That aroma will waft around you and hopefully more generosity will come your way. So pop it on the solar plexus chakra or wear it when you're going out and in a social situation. It'll help your light to shine bright. You'll be open to other people and hey, other people will be open to you, to giving you whatever you need in kindness and generosity. Honeysuckle is such an intoxicating aroma that by itself it's going to be absolutely amazing. But you may want to tone it down or add some other notes to it to make it just a little bit more interesting. Now if you try mixing it with wood oil such as sandalwood which is also an aphrodisiac oil as well or something like guaiac wood or buddha wood these could be really nice to kind of tone down and give it a bit of earthiness. Or you could try mixing it with fruits. I think it would be absolutely amazing with bergamot. It could be really great with wild orange or tangerine or maybe even lemon. Give that a shot. Or you might just want to blow the top off things and make something totally euphoric by mixing it with oils such as ylang ylang and jasmine. And that is going to be an amazing kind of combination that will be quite euphoric and lift you in working with those fairy realms and the spiritual realms and the psychic realms as well. Now, of course, if you're working with that solar plexus chakra, bring in something like ginger as well, or lemongrass could be quite potent. That's going to bring all the different aspects of the solar plexus in together. Have you tried blending honeysuckle with something before? I haven't done much of it yet because I'm just loving it by itself, but I'd love to hear any experience you've had. Please leave a comment in the section below if you've got a great blend. Maybe you've tried it with some of the sleep oils like Roman chamomile or lavender. Maybe you've tried it with other skin oils such as myrrh or frankincense. Hmm. 
who knows the options are endless and this is the exciting thing about aromatherapy and the wide variety of essential oils we can play around make custom blends for the body for the mind and the soul and then we can share them with each other so we can try and keep on experiencing great benefits and different impacts Honeysuckle is such a magical essential oil. Why not bring in some other magical gifts from nature to see if you can enhance this even further. Now, when it comes to crystals, the crystal I've chosen is bumblebee stone. You can see why this stone found in Indonesia is called bumblebee stone because of these beautiful yellow and black lines, just like a bumblebee. Now, of course, this being yellow works really well with the solar plexus in kind of harmony with your honeysuckle. And what you're gonna find with this is this will really help to make you more sociable and look at the positives in people as well. Often we can get a little bit critical, a bit judgmental, but everyone has a gift to share. And Bumblebee helps us to feel confident, to look and to bring out the light in other people through shining our own light in the world. Now, when it comes to animal wisdom when working with honeysuckle, you know, there's different animals that have a real affinity with the plant, the hummingbird, which teaches us to lighten up and always, you know, when we're light, then more good can come our way. That could be an option. Or you might want to work with bee. Bees, of course, are messengers that take us into the different worlds. Historically, they've actually been um, associated with carrying into the underworld and coming back, bringing souls backwards and forwards. They've also been associated with, you know, finding the sweetness when they land on a plant. They look for the goodness in life rather than looking at, you know, the drab parts as well. So this could work really beautifully with your honeysuckle. Astrologically, normally the flower color has a big impact and you will find honeysuckles in a wide variety of colors. Yellow is associated with Mercury, purple is associated with Jupiter, pink with Venus, white with the moon. But overall, I find honeysuckle helps to kind of entice different things into your life. And so that lunar energy is quite strong. Astrologically, I think honeysuckle would work really well with the Sagittarian energy. Of course, Sagittarius rules that aspect of life that encourages us to expand, to travel, to go and explore more in life and to learn more about life by getting out there and seeing the world. It, when we're not expanding, Sag, our Sagittarian energy gets rather restless. So honeysuckle is gonna help us to open up to that. Doesn't mean you need to get on the plane, but it means just looking at more diverse range of places where you eat and people that you talk to and things that you learn and what you watch on TV and what you do socially, all those different things. And honeysuckle will help you with this and that's really great Sagittarian energy. Now, remember, not all honeysuckle essential oils will be authentically from the plant because labeling around the world isn't governed and you can pop anything in a bottle that might smell like honeysuckle and still call it pure honeysuckle essential oil. So be really careful where you're getting it from. But this is an absolute gift, not only for the body, but also for the mind and magically, it's a great one to have in your toolkit as well. If you'd like to know more about essential oils and would like to join my education group and get ongoing support, then please reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help you out in that way. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.